It was a relentless blaze which lit up the sky in southeast St. Thomas. So scary. Um, totally up in flames and before the fire truck got here, it was chaotic. That was the scene described by neighbor Bryn Gillina Sunday night on Penn Hill Ave. He was in the garage at the time. Um, doing some work and saw some sparks and fire. Uh, he tried putting it out but got out of control, so he was unable to uh, do any more, so he had to get out. As an avid duck hunter, the homeowner had a lot of supplies in the garage, including a number of lithium ion batteries used in the hobby. While the cause can't be determined by fire officials, it's believed the batteries ignited. You can see that the cap there was attached to a, a battery and we're going to have to try to find where that battery is in the fire this morning, uh, like the investigation. Fire prevention officers collected electrical items and batteries and brought them to the fire hall, storing them in a metal bucket. And then this is what's left of a power tool with some damaged lithium ion batteries. You can see they're still reacting a little bit. Um, these hold a charge long after, it can be a week after. Uh, so yeah, we've got to remove them from the scenes to make sure that they don't, um, you know, reignite. With both homeowners losing almost all of their possessions, neighbors have started an online fundraiser. A lot of people will say, oh, they had insurance, and of course they do, but they, that doesn't kick in right away. So I just thought the best way to reach people would be through a GoFundMe. And I know there's a little percentage taken off, but I just figured it would be the best way to reach the most people. So I've set the goal at $5,000. We'll see what we're at. We're at about 2000 right now. Um, so hoping that our community can just rally together. And as any of us would hope, that someone would do the same for us. Brent Lale, CTV News.